Hey guys, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 5 of topic 12 experimental techniques and chemical analysis. Let's explore tests to identify ions and gases. These rely on reactions like gas production, color changes or precipitate formation. Let's break them down step by step. We can identify these anions using specific tests. Carbonate Chloride, bromide and iodide, nitrate, sulfate and sulfite. Here's how. So let's look at the carbonate ion test. Add dilute acid, example hydrochloric acid to the sample. Bubbles of gas, that is carbon dioxide, are produced. To confirm that it is carbon dioxide gas, we have to bubble the gas through lime water or calcium hydroxide solution. If it turns milky, the sample contains carbonate ions. Here's the reaction. Chloride, bromide and iodide ion test. Add dilute nitric acid to remove other interfering ions, example carbonate or hydroxide. Add aqueous silver nitrate solution. The observations are for chloride, a white precipitate forms. If it has bromide, a cream precipitate forms. And if it has iodide, a yellow precipitate forms. Here's the reaction for chloride. Similar reactions occur for bromide and iodide with different colored precipitates. The nitrate ion test. Add aluminum foil and aqueous sodium hydroxide solution to the sample. Warm the mixture gently. Ammonia gas is produced if nitrate is present. To confirm that it is ammonia gas, we hold damp red litmus paper near the gas. It will turn blue if it's ammonia. The sulfate ion test. Add dilute nitric acid to remove interfering ions. Add aqueous barium nitrate solution. A white precipitate of barium sulfate forms confirming sulfate ions. Here's the reaction. Next, sulfite ion test. Add dilute acid to the sample. Gently warm the mixture. Pass the gas produced through acidified potassium manganate solution. If sulfite ions are present, the purple potassium manganate solution turns colorless. Next, Let's explore the tests using aqueous sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia to identify these cations in aqueous solutions. Ammonium, aluminium, calcium, chromium, copper 2, iron 2, iron 3 and zinc. The test for ammonium ions is add a few drops of sodium hydroxide to the solution being tested. Gently heat the mixture. Hold damp red litmus paper near the mouth of the container. The red litmus paper turns blue indicating that ammonia gas has been released. This confirms the presence of ammonium ions. Testing metal ions with sodium hydroxide or ammonia. Add a few drops of sodium hydroxide 
or ammonia and observe any precipitate or color change. Then add excess of the same solution to check if the precipitate dissolves or changes. Adding a small amount of sodium hydroxide or ammonia usually forms a metal hydroxide precipitate which may dissolve in excess solution. When testing aqueous cations with 2 to 3 drops of sodium hydroxide or ammonia, both often form the same initial precipitate such as white, green or brown solids. This is because both tests add hydroxide ions which react with metal ions to form solid hydroxides. However, their behavior changes when excess sodium hydroxide or ammonia is added. Some precipitates dissolve depending on the metal ion while others remain unchanged. This difference helps identify specific cations. The following table summarizes these results. For aluminium ions, a white precipitate forms with a few drops of sodium hydroxide or ammonia. It dissolves in excess sodium hydroxide to form a colorless solution but does not dissolve in excess ammonia. For calcium ions, a white precipitate forms which does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide or ammonia. For zinc ions, a white precipitate forms dissolving in both excess sodium hydroxide and ammonia to form a colorless solution. For copper 2 ions, a light blue precipitate forms. It does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide but dissolves in excess ammonia forming a deep blue solution. For chromium 3 ions, a green precipitate forms dissolving in excess sodium hydroxide to form a green solution but not in excess ammonia. For both iron 2 and iron 3 ions, green and brown precipitates form respectively, neither of which dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide or ammonia. Next, gas tests. Gases can be identified using simple tests based on their reactions. Here are the tests for some common gases. For ammonia, hold damp red litmus paper over gas. Red litmus paper turns blue if the gas is ammonia. For carbon dioxide, bubble the gas through lime water. Lime water turns milky if the gas is carbon dioxide. For chlorine, hold damp litmus paper over the gas. Litmus paper is bleached and turns white if the gas is chlorine. For hydrogen, hold a lighted splint over the gas. The gas burns with a squeaky pop if it is hydrogen. For oxygen, hold a glowing splint over the gas. The splint reignites if the gas is oxygen. For sulfur dioxide, pass the gas through acidified potassium manganate solution. If the gas is sulfur dioxide, the purple color disappears. Finally, let's take a look at flame tests for identifying metal ions. The flame test helps identify metal ions by the color they produce in a flame. Here are the steps. Use a loop made of an unreactive metal like platinum or nichrome to avoid interference. Clean the loop by dipping it in hydrochloric acid and heating it in a flame until no color appears. Dip the clean loop into the sample and place it in the flame. 
observe the flame color. So here are the flame colors. If lithium ions are present, the flame will be crimson red. Sodium gives a bright yellow flame. Potassium, lilac. Calcium, orange red. Barium, pale green. And copper too, blue green. That concludes part 5 of topic 12, Experimental Techniques and Chemical Analysis. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here's a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Be sure to check out our other videos from our playlists. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye bye.